Welcome to scenic Salt Lake City, Utah. It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, and the 16th seeded South Dakota State Jackrabbits will take on the number one seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs in the West region here on Thursday. Now, SDSU had a bit of an interesting team this year. Not a lot of senior leadership, except from two kids who had never been to South Dakota State before this season. Michael Orris and AJ Hess were both graduate transfers, but as the only seniors on the team, they knew they had to exhibit leadership right away. Me and AJ are roommates. We came in together with Coach TJ, so we're definitely close and have to have that bond. But just being seniors, being our last year, wanting to go to the NCAA tournament so bad, I think that just put an extra chip on our shoulder to give it everything we had every day. When we first met, we kind of traded war stories and whatnot, and some good things, some bad things. But yeah, no, it was definitely, definitely cool. I mean, to not be the only senior and not the only grad transfer, so there's somebody you can kind of share you know the experience with and they kind of can empathize with you and vice versa. The moment that he brought me and AJ in and some other guys and just this summer from what we built relationship wise with the teammates and everything we all knew collectively as a unit we had way more than enough talent to get to the NCAA tournament and it was just a matter of it all clicking and it all coming together and obviously as everybody knows we had a rough start and rough patches but we from the get-go knew that we were going to go to the NCAA tournament and that was our goal and you know we're just living it out now. But this year has definitely been very up, very down, um, definitely a lot of learning moments, a lot of growth I think took place for a lot of the guys on our team as a group and individually and um, I think that's what got us here. It was a meeting in the locker room, it was a team meeting um, the next morning of practice we normally do film before we go out on the floor and we were watching film of our game and you know really everybody and coach included we just his, his, his demeanor and his speech at that time was, you know, what, what aren't we doing? What, what aren't we doing to be successful right now? Us as coaches, staffs, you guys as players, let's all look in the mirror and kind of figure that out. And we all kind of just had a heart to heart and everybody kind of just banded together of why, you know, aired some things out and why we're not winning, why we are being, being you know, not having success or having that success at that point. Um, and I think that moment of just everybody really going within themselves and taking a good look in the mirror, whether that be the coaches, the managers, and the players, all of us collectively doing that so we could be a tight-knit unit needed to happen. And I think at that moment, things changed from there. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Jackrabbits as they prepare to face number one Gonzaga here on Thursday afternoon. From Salt Lake City for Jackrabbit Journal, I'm David Brown.